I have been having a lot of fun making crazy purses lately, and I think it's time for a new addition to my collection. <laughs> Welcome to Strastoween, a very chill edition because I'm burned out. I am so freaking tired all the time. This leather is by far my favorite purse and bag clutches designer and I need all of them. Good thing now is that I have a 3D printer and a lot of time on my hands. So I want to make this cat bag, but in a version for me. Let's start this, shall we? <laughs> Look at this! Oh, I need to bring those! Oh my god, those are so cute! So I get my files generally from printables. It's by the same people who made my printer I use. I'm very incompetent when it comes to 3D modeling. My brain just don't work that way. Especially considering the technology involved in doing those. Like the programs, I just don't get it. Let's search for a cat! A cat! It needs to be chunky enough for me to fit things inside. So this one is totally out. Such a skinny cat. No, we don't want skinny cats. This one could work, but I don't really like his pose. Looks like he's pooping. What's <laughs> wrong with his face? Oh my god, he has such an underbite. Nice. This is cute. I'm gonna leave this in the open together with this one. If I don't find something better. Oh, it's a bunny cat. Oh, Cheshire, Cheshire, Cheshire. Oh, the Cheshire cat is also nice. Wow, imagine a Cheshire cat purse. To totally bedazzled. <laughs> I'm totally doing that. Too skinny, too polygonal. Ooh, knife cat. I have a pin like this. <laughs> Ooh, a knife cat for Halloween? <gasps> no way. Really? Oh my god. This is exactly what I need. It's a tiny one. Oh my god, it's so cute. Clay Raid, you're, this is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. This is what we're doing now. Thank you. <laughs> it's very small. I will leave this to print to see if my changes will work, especially since I'm trying to print this without infill to see if it's going to crumble under its own weight or if it's going to work. But with the final thing, I think I'm gonna have to print both sides separately, maybe even in four parts and attach them to each other. No, yeah, I don't know. Let's see how that goes. This will take 12 hours to print and I will just gonna leave this here. After 12 hours, this is what I have and it's definitely way too small. Although when I was in London, I saw one that's like the size of a Tabasco bottle and I think it's just for a lipstick. So I think I can turn this into a lipstick, but I want a purse to fit something inside. I'm doing this again. Total noob when it comes to 3D printing things. I'm not able to do my own files yet. I'm kind of trying to, to, to trying to learn how to Vision 360 and how to Blender, but God, the learning curve is steep. Let's open our knife cat. Here we have our file. It's way too small. I'm going to make it big. It will not fit. I will have to slice this in two and print first the front and then the back. Cat number front. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Ha! It is perform cut. <gasps> look, look, look. Ha! So we have kitty part number one, part number two. Ooh, that's nice. No infill because it works so well. Export knife cat. Do the same thing to the back. Look at that booty. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> oh, that chunk of booty. It's gonna take 32 hours to print the cat back and front, but it's fine. We love it. Aha! <laughs> Ooh, look at that! Now I might be able to fit my wallet inside. My film? Never. My, my wallet? My work. So I used plastic cement to glue it and it seems glued, but I'm not sure if it worked or not. Yeah, it's, it's glued it's there. There is now a gap here. I think it will change the overall shape of the thing. Ah, stay there. Let me glue these other parts together. This thing stinks like nail polish on crack. So you put a little bit 
place you want to glue. Wait a little bit because this will melt the plastic or so they say. Wait a few seconds for it to start melting. Just attach those together. I'm gonna leave this like this and see if it will attach itself with its own weight. Ah, stay, stay, stay. Okay. Just leave this here to attach it to itself. Ah, no, no, no. It's a little warped. But it's fine because I'm gonna bedazzle this anyways. It's getting cold, Moby. It's getting cold, you can't. What with your eye? Everything's fine. Are you enjoying the blankies? All of the blankies. Oh, my baby. This is with an auger. Muesli hit you again. Look at this. The glue then. It seems to be very stable. Now I'll try to cut this part. A weird gap here, but I don't think this will be that much of a problem. Or at least I hope it won't. <laughs> Yes, it worked really well. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm so good. Look at that. This thing is good for carving, but not for cutting. Although it came with a blade. Maybe. Maybe. It's not strong enough. Oh, I need to do this with the Dremel. Oh. I don't want to. I'm kind of scared of the Dremel lately. Cutter knife. A box knife. It's not going to work either. <laughs> It's all attached to itself, front and back. I have a little bit of a gap here, but I don't think this is going to be bad. Now I'm going to install the hinges and the closure before I do anything else, because then I can make it disappear under everything. <laughs> and for that, I taped front and back together, so at least it doesn't move around <laughs> while I'm trying to do it. And I don't know. The idea is to first screw this in place and then add some nice goop to keep it there forever. Make sense? I, I hope it makes sense. <laughs> Using a little bit of this double-sided tape. Preliminary attachment of the bits. If I can find a pair of scissors to cut it. This is how it's going to look and I'm gonna add some felt here so the fitsies and the tail are again in the same level. It doesn't wobble around when I'm sitting somewhere. Uh, where to wear all of this? Where to wear all of this. We went to see Blink-182 yesterday live and my 15 year old self was dying. I, I was dying the whole time. A lot of force to make it go through. Question now that remains is if I need one or two. I think I need two. Ooh. Ooh. <gasps> it worked. I'm adding one to the other side as well. I'm a girl. Trying to make them at least in the same height or what I think it's the same height. Preliminary attachment. Ah. Both sides are done. Woohoo. And it opens like this. It's quite stable there. I need to install these nubs here that will hold the cat. Uh, there will be the handle, but I don't know where. Put it in the arms. I think I'm gonna put one in the back here and one in the front here. It will be weird. It will go through the face. Oh, yes. I'm gonna put one here and one on the other side. So it's kind of like a Frankenstein thing. I need to think about it. I don't know. I'm going for the head as a Frankenstein thing because the thing has a very good center of gravity. If I hold it here, it will not topple forward or backwards. It will work as a purse. So on the back of the head, under the ears, for the thing. Just need to mark them so they are in the same place. You are here. Are you the same height? Sort of the same height. And now I need the Bosch for the hole. Uh, smaller. Oh, this one is. Uh, I need to throw throw this out. It's crooked. In the trash you go. Means that I don't have another one. This is a tad bigger, but I don't care. Lobotomy. Oh, take my hair out of the way because you're going to die. <laughs> Oh, the one little problem. I didn't open the head because I didn't think I needed to open the head. Oh, damn it. Where are the others? My big thingies are lost. So I will go for the huge one because this is always the best solution. Go ape shit on things that don't work your way because violence is always the end. Perfect. And I didn't push the other side. Never mind, it's just a cute murderous cat. Murderous Frankenstein cat. Or it has the earrings. I don't know. You decide. Look at that. Look at it. Look at this. Look at this. Ah! I'm dying. Since I'm doing this in Chili's, 
image, and she's a tuxie. I would paint this cat in the same thing as Chibi. In ter you know what I mean, right? And for that, I will use simple permanent marker ink because it stays. It doesn't create an extra layer. It's just very thin ink, and it stays where it's supposed to stay. <laughs> Cue the time lapse. But first, I need to take everything off. I need to get used to cleaning the space after I'm done with something. But I've never done that in my life, and I don't think that at now at 120 years old that I'm gonna learn it. But I'm trying my because best. Because I am the embodiment of chaos. Old brush because I know I will have to throw it out after I'm done. Pepper, and these are the marks. She has kind of a twirly twirl, but I. I think it goes to the left like a question mark and her belly is white her hands and paws are white as well and she has one mark on the nose and one I think one on the chin the thing about chibi she's almost never there and when she is she's in a hole in a dark place so i never see her face and i forget how she looks yes i'm a terrible mother i, know. I, I have a picture of chili in my phone or not again i'm a terrible cat mother there she is so her chin is black this cheek is white this cheek has a little bit of white and her nose here on the top is also white-ish because now she's an older lady. This is okay as far as markings go. I think I can start finding so many screws here on the table. I thought I put them all away. <laughs> the resemblance is uncanny. This part will be pinkish as is the nose. I still have from the ducky a lot of other colors. I think the handle will be... Ooh! Purple. The nose. Purple. Blue. Or red. I don't know. Ah! This is for the nose. She has green eyes. The blade. And the body, of course. With the Sharpie, I will add some colors there just for the background to be kind of consistent. And I just need to decide now on the handle. Well, the oh, handle. I can make the blade blue-ish. So it kind of separates itself from the white parts of the body. And the handle will be reddish pink. I think it makes sense. Her. The paint job doesn't need to be super perfect because I'm gonna cover this with stones anyways. And for that, I will start I, with the, the, the white parts. And this time I'm not using the UV resin for gluing the crystals because my duck still stinks. I've left it in the sun for ages and still it's awful. I, I can I can use it but I can't open it because <laughs> this stank is stanky. Low odor, multi-surface, all weather. Never used this before. Maybe I should test it first. <laughs> Yeah, right. So I need a pokey pokey. How how much time do I have to work with this? Well, I don't know. 20 hours of full curing. A very nice working time. I'm gonna start with the belly button. Oh, I need to cut. <laughs> mm -hmm. Really? I need to cut the applicator. I need to cut more the applicator. There, now we have a hole. <gasps> oh, then uh, I thought this would be very liquid, but it isn't. Aw, Chili has a belly button piercing. How cute is that? Pitchy, pitchy, pitchy. The dazzling things take such a long time, and I hate the long time that it takes for me to bedazzle all the things. But I like bedazzling because it's very, very relaxing to bedazzle everything. Ooh, and also to bedazzle the chili is very, very cute because the chili is very cute. And I'm bedazzling a chili cat. Chili the cat. Ooh! Know what I would never have the patience for? Diamond painting. Although with diamond painting you have those other things that supposedly help you pick more diamonds at once. But I've heard some people complain about it. So I'm not sure if they are really that good. Oh, I lost one. This is the one that I can't lose because I don't know if I have enough. Where is it? Oh, no. It's gone. It's gone. Wouldn't it be funny if in the end there is missing one white stone? Leave me. I'm trying to make them fit into each other, but sometimes they're they just, don't, they just don't and I don't understand technically they are the same size and they should fit into each other flawlessly I hope my hair is not in the frame look at that bling perfect bling turn the aminol I think I'm gonna need a brush for this part brush no oh, side down no <laughs> I didn't test if this glue will react with the PLA <laughs> I hope it doesn't. Just imagine it starts melting away the plastic now. Doesn't seem it's going to happen, but you never know with chemicals. Well, actually you do, you have to test it, but my defense, it says here plastic. So I am counting for a plastic adhesion without much problems. The smells okay compared to all those other goops I already used in my life. One has more of a car wash smell. That chemical car wash smell, so specific. We're moving down. Or 
course of bedazzling. And uh, although I like that I have a very long open time to work with the glue, it's kind of annoying because the crystals kept moving here and there. So I don't know, may, I might come here tomorrow and the crystals have all descended somewhere they're not supposed to be. <laughs> nice. But now, enough. Today's my birthday and I'm having Greek food ah. and cheesecake. So now I'm going to eat. See you tomorrow. This is what I managed to do in one week of being dead on the couch with the Rona. <laughs> Beautiful. I put saran wrap here so it won't glue forever while I'm gluing this stuff. And the front is done up to the crotch. I'm just missing that small piece of the crotch over here. And then I can do the back. The back is only black and a little bit of white in the potties. This is so cute. I can't. It's been 10 days. We are still testing positive, but we're feeling better. Still very tired. I could sleep the whole day and coughing a little bit, but the rest is, is doing fine. Like my, my brain is working again, which is, which is good, which is good. So now I just need to get back on track with my schedule because everything I plan until the end of the year, I don't think it's going to work. <laughs> anyway, let's work. I have a wedding to go in two weeks. I don't have a dress. I think I will sew myself a dress now because <laughs> the dresses that I have are so light and she asked people not to wear light clothes, like, like beige, pink, you know, bright. She needs to be the bright one in the part. I'm doing a dark blue, navy blue tool dress. And I'm feeling confident about my tool dress. I'm going for the tail top pattern with the aerial velour and dark blue tool for the skirt and other bits. It's gonna be a velour dress and the skirt is a throwover skirt for length. I think I am going to go for the Barbie dress, the one with the big bow, because I love that pattern so much, but without the bow. Ha! I mean, I will totally wear the pink dress, but it's so light that I think it's not gonna be a good idea. So exciting. I just hope I have enough of the, <laughs> the velour for the whole dress. Nice. Look <laughs> at that! Ooh. Front and back are cut. I removed one inch from the center seam. Well, from the weird center dart that I had. Because then it would fit on half the fabric. And it went pretty well. I need something fancy to make the skirt fancy as a detail. To see if I have some fancy fabric. Oh my god. I still have Cyberpunk, the ultra pink leather. Can I? <gasps> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, the dress turned out to be more complicated than I wanted. I did make a lining. I made a facing and <laughs> it was bad. It was bad. I have here 10 meters of tool. I finished bedazzling the chili. I think I'm gonna take her to the wedding with me, but we need to figure out the inner part of it now. close enough to cut it without leaving a weird border. I need my exacto knife and I don't know where it is. <laughs> the insides are done and it's like as black as chili so. <laughs> Uh, hi, <laughs> this was a journey. Look at my state. The inside is done. The problem is that when I open, it goes all the way out and anything I have in here will down. So I came up a with a pouch that I will now attach from one side to the other for, to prevent it from opening too much. And I just hope that it will stay in place because I have no idea how to attach this now. And then when I close it, it will go in to struggle. How am I going to do this? Oh. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha.
Look at the state of my table. I, it's today I need to clean the room because I can't find anything anymore in my beautiful mess. So I need three holes on each side. Now I can sew this there. Isn't it magic? But I need a bigger thread. Cha -cha 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 -cha. I think I'm going to go thicker embroidery thread. Oops. Oh no, it broke my needle. Damn you. The whole eye of the needle broke off. Yeah, I have a shorter needle now. Okay, where did I put? I had ink on the table. Where is it? I can smell it. Where is it? I didn't close and put it away. What the f***? Where is it? I can't have opening on my table. I can smell it. I can smell it. Where did I put it? This here is an accident waiting to happen and I'm not having it at all. Second try. Yeah, sure. Needle better. Oh, so much sewing. Other side will be nice to sew in. Where is the ink? I'm scared. Oh, here. I found it. It was behind the camera and I closed it. Thank God. I'm gonna put it away. Put it away. Put it away. Oh, nice view of my hand here, right? Stitches are kind of slack, but I don't care. Oh. I broke it needle again <sighs> same situation i had curved needles i have no idea where my curved needles are try not to put much pressure on the needle all right don't break don't break ah. There isn't much I can fit in here <laughs> i love it <laughs> this is the dress for the wedding It's not gonna match with the dress because I'm a little bit biased with black and blue or black and brown But this part matches and it's oh my god. It's a murderous cat. I love it <laughs> This is how it looks from the inside now with the pouch so things don't fall down Can put my wallet in here. I cannot put cell phone because well fancy people don't have cell phones apparently And it will never fit. I love it. I will totally wear this. Should I wear this with the cat or the pigeon? I think the cat. I'll go the pigeon. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think? Pigeon cat? Both. <laughs> I think I will indeed wear this to the wedding. <laughs> it's just a little... <laughs> it's so preposterous. I think I will go the murderous cat. <laughs> what do you think? I think I need to learn how to model my own 3D object so I can make weird purses. Like Back to school it is. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this and I will see you soon. Ta -ta. See if I can find the right note. Don't know how to play a recorder. <laughs> What is this? I think I'm gonna glue this shut. So I can't keep my finger on the hole. <laughs> <laughs> what does this hole even do? <laughs> Let's pretend I'm gonna do this on your computer.